It's midnight. So you get the picture. It's midnight. Kids are playing outside. Turn on your subtitles. Go on settings. Uh, click English on subtitles. Сегодня знаменательный день, когда мы идем все в аквапарк. А вот это, вот это кстати, Мирабаский суд. Здесь uh, решают, убивать человека или нет. <laughs> Ставить за решетку человека или нет. Вот здесь все решается. А вот здесь хорошие дома. А вот здесь мы живем, вон там. Вот этот дом. Мы там живем. В аквапарке будет классно вообще. Короче, это Нигина, моя сестра. Сестра, говорю, моя сестренка. Часур, мой двоюродный братишка. И Камила, двоюродная сестренка. Вот я самый старший. Это мой младший брат. Мы здесь играли. Настольный теннис в свое время. Это очень красиво. Сам ты. Смотрите, какие лабиринты. То есть они лабиринты, а джунгли. Я даже не помню, чтобы так много зелени было раньше. Real musicians are still out there playing, hustling on the streets. Wow, I thought park just kept me out. So still for that we were here the last time. I don't remember where we were last time. At minimum, we were same. I don't know. No, this was very, very good. Still, no. We were with these same people in childhood. Yes, we were. We were. Играли, вот здесь катались и тоже. Нигина, а где аквапарк? А аквапарк где? Он внутри этих что ли? Аквапарк? Я смотрю, там Бехрус тоже присоединился. Это тоже мой двоюродный братишка. Ну, у нас много кузенов, братьев и сестер. Еще какая-то горка. Он сильно поменялся этот парк, на самом деле. Я чуть много чего не узнаю. Бехрус! Так где аквапарк-то? Вон аквапарк. Вот там нас. Совки ждут. Сейчас мы зажжем там. Сейчас мы будем переодеваться и в басик. Здесь раздевалки. Мы уже подобрались к раздевалкам. А, все атмосферно, все отлично. Все, мы готовы. Готовы идти в аквапарк. Are we ready to go swim? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go, right there. Много 
Blijf ook wel goed Blijf ook. Oh, daar is je machine. Niet te stelen. Ik ga eens kijken hoe ik het maak. Yes! Мы прилично кайфанули. Да, в общем, было все отлично. Поплавали. А, мне понравилась вообще раздевалочка красивая. А, еда была вкусной. И вот эти, на которые тут а, запястники. А, система очень удобная была. Вместо ключей сразу оп. Открываешь запястье и нормально, отлично, вообще супер. Ну, такие дела. Вот сейчас я вам покажу вообще парк, сейчас как выглядит вечером после э, аквапарка. Вот. Вот вам и 
обычный узбекский народ. Вот так он и выглядит. Как много людей. Даже грибочки есть. Это для наркоманов. Грибочки. Сундок бы оценил, конечно. This is my home in Tashkent from outside. It's midnight. So you get the picture. It's midnight. Kids are playing outside. Soccer. Or I don't know. Oh no, no it's um, oh, I forgot the name in English. But this is a famous game, everybody knows it. It's crazy, it's crazy. Like for us in the United States, I mean in San Diego where I live in, usually after seven or eight PM, like in the neighborhoods you don't see anyone. But here like it's literally twelve like midnight summer people i mean kids don't have schools so they're just here having fun you know what i mean and it's not even a weekend right now yeah so yeah this is this is the lifestyle <laughs> this is the lifestyle i myself um just coming back from a movie theater watched uh, uh what was the name uh, hitman's wife's bodyguard Yes, <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Over the top a little bit, but fun overall, nevertheless. Um, the charisma was great between uh, all three actresses, actors and actresses. Italy scored. I was just about to say that I'm, I have entered my home. Started watching the game and I just wanted to share with you some experience. And there it is for the goal. Crazy. Anyway, I want to share with you something uh, interesting. When I'm doing some YouTube videos or when I write a song with Sam and he posts it on the, his uh, YouTube or uh, iTunes and Spotify and uh, or when I'm just uh, here to help my uh, little brother uh, to make his um, YouTube channel, like uh, to make his videos. Um, usually it feels like in America, for example, I mean, nobody cares about it. Or like, I mean, I do see the views, but I don't know personally, like people who watch my channel. But here I come here in Uzbekistan, uh, in Tashkent, and like people I know, um, even not necessarily relatives or just friends or old acquaintances they know what is up with me and what am i doing they they know what is up with me like they know much better than i would assume they would like i don't really think about them for example um i mean i do think about my relatives but like when it comes to let's say just acquaintances or something like that uh, i meet them here because Tashkent is kind of packed and like um, you know everybody knows everybody and like when I meet them here they start talking to me like hey Bob like I saw your little brother and uh, you made a video with him and like I was like wow holy holy shit, holy shit like how do you how do you know that like I, I I never think you would know that like I, I didn't tell you about that a husband of my mom's friend yeah there it is uh, he, I just saw him like uh, 10 minutes ago and uh, he told me that look my son showed me uh, you you guys filmed the video there and like I saw it and like when when people tell me that like here in Uzbekistan I, like I get quite shocked and like they literally like tell me hey like uh, Bob is in the house hey Bob is in the house how are you like they they know the um, uh, ongoing jokes or like ongoing uh, themes and like it's it's crazy it's it's um, wonderful to like <laughs> uh, hear that it's actually like oh wow I actually 
um, do videos that uh, people watch apparently you know like it, it just doesn't feel that way when you just look at the numbers uh, but um, to, to see people uh, talk about it like that it's always wonderful so it's amazing it's, it's crazy like when it comes to people themselves in Uzbekistan they're really nice and um, I mean there are <laughs> positives and downsides but like people actually want to help you out and people do care about you and people actually want to help out not for their own benefit but actually just because you know we're people and uh, we, we need to help each other because life is tough you know you know what I mean so and they do that it's uh, even like when they when you come uh, to buy something usually in America they push something more expensive than you try to purchase saying that oh look like but this is you know this product has more quality and uh, that's why it's it will be beneficial for you to buy that one even if, even if it's more expensive uh, it will last longer or whatever they will come up with reasons to sell you something more expensive but in Uzbekistan here like uh, you ask for advice for example uh, from a, a seller look yes this is a good product but actually you can um, purchase something for less money like it will be cheaper for you and it still will be a good use like it still will be beneficial for you like it, it still you you it will last for a long time and uh, you will be happy with your purchase so just get this one you don't have to like spend all that money like over the top just, just spend this amount of money and you will get pretty much uh, uh, what you want out of it and like they suggest you that for example so uh, when it comes to that when it comes to this aspects of Uzbekistan it's pretty nice Thank you.